Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about the 100 kW connected PVRI system with the FASI MBPT and PU MBPT. That means we are going to compare the result of PU MBPT with the FASI MBPT in grid connected PV system. So this is a simulation model we have created for that comparison of that PV MBPT and FASI MBPT. So here you will see that right. So this is the PVRA. The PVRA having that panel rating of 330 watts and number of series panel in the each string will be 5 total parallel string will be 66 so here you will see the drive when you open this model so this is the rating of this model so that means uh, the total the maximum power is 305 and parallel that means series connected model of PV is 5 and in parallel string will be 66 and it it could generate the maximum peak power right so this is a peak power so it will be generated around 100 point seven kilowatt okay for at 100 100 uh, uh, 1000 watts per meter square okay so this is going to be connected to the three level inverter okay and uh, the, the three level the uh, inverter so here in between we are going to use the main it have the boost converter so this boost converter going to be controlled by means of the first mbpt okay via this pwm generator so the first mbpt going to be receive two inputs so one is pv voltage and pv current so inside that first mbpt we have to calculate the power p of n and we have to calculate p of n minus 1 so p of p of n nothing but the current instant power p of n minus 1 nothing but previous instant power next you have to calculate p of n minus p of n minus 1 so this is known as uh, del p okay at the next thing we have to calculate this one here you will come see right IPV right so here you calculate uh, I of n minus I of n minus 1 so this is known as del I okay so you have to calculate and del P and del I and then you, here you have to divide so del P uh, divided by uh, del I so this is nothing but uh, uh, del V okay so del V nothing but uh, consider as error okay so the, the del V is the uh, one input and then here you calculate another thing nothing but uh, uh, del V of n minus uh, del V of n minus 1 okay so this is uh, change in uh, small change in change in voltage small change in voltage between two instant so that will be act as a second input so first input nothing but the del v of n and second input will be del v of n minus del v of n minus 1 and it will be processed via fuzzy controller so it will be generated the duty cycle okay so here we have fuzzy function mbpt PO fuzzy function so you can see the detail here so we have two things two input error change in error so error nothing but here nothing but error nothing but del n so this is del n and so this one nothing, nothing but del n so del v of n minus uh, del v of n minus 1 okay and then finally this one is a duty cycle okay so this del v of n having seven moves function del v of n minus del v of n minus one having 
7 and duty cycle also 7 members function so that are uh, connected with the fuzzy rules so here we are using the 14 fuzzy rules to connect the input and the output and here you can see the surface view of that uh, fuzzy rules okay so this is a fuzzy rule based upon input and the output duty cycle and here you can see the rule so when you change the uh, del v of n the duty cycle can be changed if you change del v of n v of n minus del v of n minus 1 the duty cycle also change okay so according with the, the duty cycle change in between 0, 0 to 0 0.9 value right so finally this fuzzy will be generator duty cycle so that duty cycle can be processed via the pwm generator the pwm generator will be generate the pulse for this boost converter to extract the maximum power from the pvra so next thing is uh, inverter control right so here we have uh, the main inverter inverter after the here we have the dlc filter okay and then it, it have a transformer step up transformer it transform the voltage from 260 volt to 25 kilo volt and it will be connected to the utility, utility grid okay so here we are going to control this inverter so for that after transformer you have to measure the voltage and current and we have to measure the this deceiling voltage so you have to apply the decoupling control concept so here we are measuring the comparing the deceiling voltage with the reference voltage and in going to process via PA controller so this will be generated a ID reference so here we are only sending that real power so that's why here we are making uh, IQ reference equal to 0 so next thing is uh, based upon that uh, voltage and current in the secondary of the transformer so you have to convert that value that means ABC into DQ by using power transformation so this is known as power transformation and then after converting the power transformation we are having a detail voltage in dq form and uh, current in the dq form so next thing is we have to compare com comparing that uh, id and iq reference with the id iq actual and it going to be processed via pa controller and then here we have to apply that to feed forward decoupling control concept and then finally we have that to vdvq control voltage okay so then you have to convert that VDVQ into ABC form that means here you have to apply inverse part transformation and it going to be processed via PDL, 3 level pedulum generator so next the output of this pulse going to be given to this 3 level bridge so it will be convert this uh, DC power into AC and it going to be pump the power to this utility grid okay so here you you can see that scope right in this scope you can measure irradiation temperature the power of the pv and then voltage and then you have to see the duty cycle from that fuzzy mppt and here you can measure the the mean uh, reference voltage and uh, deceiling voltage at the deceiling point okay so in this point so what what is the voltage in this point we can see here and also we can see the modulation index of this uh, inverter control okay so here you will see that so this is voltage in the inverter side this one so here we are missing this voltage and here this this is a, uh, power is injected into that grid okay and this is known as bus voltage and current in single phase form and then this is known as the id reference and the id actual iq reference and the iq actual you can measure here okay so this is the scope we can see that and then here we are changing the radiation initially it will be in thousand watts per meter square after that it comes to around two, uh, 250 
watts per meter square and then again change to 1000 so that the temperature will be maintained 25 degree up to 2 second after 2 second it will be increased to 50 degree okay by changing this radiation you have to check the the power generation from the PV array and then how how much power will be sent to the grid and the remaining uh, parameter are going to see in this simulation and also I am going to explain that P and NVPT same model same everything will be same so only thing here we are using P and NVPT so here we are using the code for P and NVPT so the P and NVPT will be work based upon that uh, uh, the four uh, logic right so you have to measure the power change in voltage change in power and then the based upon sign of the change in power and the change in voltage so you have to change the duty cycle both will be that means change in power and change in voltage having similar sign both are negative or both are positive okay then we have to decrement the duty cycle if suppose both are having different sign for example db having minus db having positive so then we have to increment the duty cycle or else if db having plus db having minus then again we have to increment the duty cycle okay so that means if we consider del p uh, del v and duty cycle if both are plus we need to decrement the duty cycle both are minus we have to decrement the duty cycle if both are different sign we need to increment the duty cycle okay so this is the concept of pnd mvpd so that code will be implemented here okay so this code will be executed every sample two samples and it will be generated the duty cycle and it again it will be going to be processed via pirulin generated so it will be generate the pulse and control this boost converter to extract the maximum power so here i'm going to simulate this model you have to check the results so here you will see that irradiation uh, temperature the power from the pv and then voltage of the pv and variation of the duty cycle with respect to the different irradiation temperature condition so when it is irradiation reducing the PV power generation also reduce okay so be based upon the pattern in the irradiation power generation also change now we can see that because of increasing temperature the PV power is decreasing in decrease okay because of increasing temperature and these are the variation of voltage and duty cycle okay so this is a result from the P and MVPT okay and also here you can see that so this is a uh, reference voltage and the, the DC link voltage so maintained at to 500 volt and then this is a modulation index of the control signal and then so this is a inverter voltage and then here you will see that this is a voltage and current in the grid point okay and this is known as the power sent to the grid when employing POMBP P into MBPT okay so next time I'm going to simulate the the fuzzy MBPT model so you have to check the results so the result of fuzzy and this is a result of PU so we have to compare with the both result so here you will see that so it will take some time and also it will be take some time to reach some peak power but the fuzzy will be reaches quickly okay and also here you will see that the duty cycle also the main general mode constant but here you will see the duty cycle will be keep on decreasing in the PN to MBPT so we will, we will wait for the completion of simulation
So now the simulation is completed. So next we have to compare the result. So first time we have to compare the result of uh, uh, the power and duty cycle, okay, and the remaining things. So just I'm going to click front to figure. This is a P and MBPT, and here I'm going to click print to figure, and then I'm going to copy this. This is a fuzzy MBPT result, so I'm going to change the color and copy this, and then I'm going to combine the result here. So now we can see that result, right? So the first MBPT, right? The first MBPT will be generated. Uh, that means it maintained at the peak power, but the P and MBPT not able to uh, reach that uh, peak power. Okay, and also here, so the every point, right? You can see that, right? So first MBPT will provide better result in this portion. Okay, and also when temperature changes, right? So we will see the same kind of that means for C will be provide highest uh, power than the P into MBPT. Okay. So next you have to compare uh, the duty cycle. So next time we to change the color of fuzzy and copy and paste. I'm going to copy. paste here so here you will see that variation of duty cycle so the yellow is p and mbpt this orange color nothing but the fuzzy mbpt okay so this is a comparison between the power of pv as well as the duty cycle from the mbp to mbpt so next thing we can compare right we can compare the the power set to the grid so this is a power Send by the first that means uh, system applying with the first MBPT. So, next you have to check. Uh, so, this is a result of the power sent to the grid. Okay, by employing P into MBPT. Next time, you have to take front to figure, and here also I'm going to take front to figure. Next time, I'm going to compare the result. So, this is a result of. CMBPT. So I am going to change the color and copy this result, paste the result. Now also you can see that right with the first MBPT the, the power sent to the grid also increased okay in compared to PNT MBPT okay. So when comparing these results right so we are uh, can conclude that right that mean once again and also I am going to see that right the rise time of the fuzzy will, MBPT will be very quick and uh, settle quickly ok so when comparing this results right and the fuzzy MBPT uh, providing the better result than the PMD MBPT for 100 kilowatt grid connected PV array system so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for a notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye